everybody thank you for joining me on another great video this is retro oblivion and today we're going to check out the features of this arcade one up mini countertop cabinet let's take a look here's the basic layout of the cabinet we have three buttons a joystick an on and off switch and a volume control now the cabinet does only have one speaker but i assure you that one speaker is all you need it is pretty loud just so you can get a general idea of the size of this unit go ahead and turn this around We have the back, power cord is right here. It's not too heavy, weighs about probably 15 to 20 pounds. We have some really beautiful artwork on the sides. I love the graphics and along the side of the screen. And then up here, we just have a regular marquee. It doesn't glow or light up or anything. This cabinet includes two games, Pac-Man and Galaga. So let's go ahead and check out the gameplay on this bad boy. My final thoughts on this cabinet is that it's a little too small for me and my tastes. I think I like things a little bit bigger. Now it's really great for those who don't have a lot of space because it can go on a table, a countertop, or your lap, and you can play it with ease. However, for me, the screen is too small. If you don't have really good eyes, it's going to be very hard to play it. You know what you can do with this thing that would be really cool? Rip out the insides, put a Raspberry Pi in it. Play about a hundred or a couple hundred games on there. Now I've seen videos on YouTube. I've seen people take units this small and do the same exact thing as they can with the regular arcade one-up cabinet. Now if you could do something like that, that would be really cool. I'd like to see that. But for me, uh, 200 bucks for this is probably a, a, a little too pricey for me compared to the other things that I could get a lot cheaper and for the same price. Hey, you got to go with what works for you to each their own. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment or question down below and I'll see you on the next video. And if you can, please smash that like button. Thank you.